G'day, this is Tom Platts of 3. Today I'll be showing you not only how to make these panel lines which are done in texture, but also the random value of each panel with an auto clicker. Before we jump into substance, we'll need a mesh to work on, so I'll slap one together right here. No point wasting your time with the tutorial since a much better video of how to do it already exists by the legendary artist Andrew Hodgson. Woo! So anyway, once these panels are made, we'll bring them into Substance to begin the texturing. The only map we need to begin with is the normal map, since we'll just be painting in some lines to generate uh, more maps with later. So I'm going to create a fill layer with a distinct color and uh, some negative height, and then add a black mask. Straight away we're able to paint on some height into these panels, which we'll use to create the panel lines. So by holding shift, you can draw a straight line in substance, uh, but if you hold shift and control, then you're able to snap at an angle. Obviously very useful. If the smallest you can make your brush is still too big, you can make your own brush alpha in Photoshop, or just screenshot this and save it. Don't mind the resolution since we'll be blurring it later. I'll just skip through this part since it's just more of the same. Once we finish that, we'll put a blur filter on the mask, and then on top of that are levels, so we can get much smoother transitions between each panel. This isn't essential, but I like it for the, the shapes it gives you. Uh, setting that to black now, so it's a little less obnoxious. An important part of this process is actually painting these panel lines down to the bottom of each panel, which we'll be using later on in Photoshop. Do this for as many panels as visible, uh, just creates generally better results. We're going to need to make color differences between the panel lines and the panels since we'll be exporting the diffuse map. For the edges that I missed drawing panels down to the bottom on, I'll just fill in those faces with a black color which is used later on in Photoshop. Here we'll create a new export template where we're just going to export the color. You, this is not essential, it just saves a bit of time. Another thing we'll need to do is export the normal map of this model as a DirectX format. So we can bring it back into Substance and bake the rest of the maps with. We re-import the normal and from that generate all the maps we need for smart materials and mask generators. We'll bring the diffuse map into Photoshop. It's at this point we'll need the auto clicker. I'll link to the one I use in the description. With this process we're going to be using the fill tool with a low opacity, no anti-aliasing and a zero tolerance. Those settings are relatively important. At this point, all we need to do is activate the auto clicker and swirl the mouse around the canvas as we see fit. It's also best to fill it from white to black, so we have the highest amount of range to play with later. Bring that image back into Substance as a texture and then add it to a fill layer. Here I apply a blur filter to the fill layer just so we can have something a bit more random. Now we're effectively done. We can overlay or multiply this over any other material or whatever else you're planning on having under this. And it'll provide a slight amount of randomness to all your panels. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you learned something, leave a comment. Australia.